Hey, hey, everyone. Oh, Argel, do you know? Well, jump, jump, as you are now known. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I thought this was going to taste good. It's toffee, toffee ale, uh, and it tastes like crap. Hey, do you know how you doing? I've got a um a new sound card. So if at any point anything sounds weird or I'm too loud or too quiet. Is that too loud? Too quiet? Uh yeah, just just let me know because uh I'm still still working out the kinks. What kind of weekends do you guys have? And did you uh did anyone else get any of the snow? It's very pretty, very magical. Yeah, it was awesome. Really awesome. Actually made this place look pretty. Not that it isn't usually a bit pretty, but you know. <clears throat> oh man. Yeah, so I um I had all of uh last week off. Did I I can't even remember, you know, did I stream last week? I think I did. I think I did one uh, one stream and I'd intended to do a whole bunch because I was like oh I have loads of time off uh, and I just got really knackered and then I realized today it felt like it'd been about a week since I'd actually done anything um, so I'm assuming most most of you were in here the last session when we were working on uh, this new track and um, I think that's what I'm gonna try and do tonight is is get it finished get it wrapped up um, but it's proven a bit difficult. Like I, I keep taking a run at it and and trying to make it one thing, and it wants to be something else. But I've actually got somebody uh, on uh, single artwork at the moment, and um, oh, Mr. Mech. Well, no worries. What, what I'll yeah, you're a ter terrible person. You're a bad person, and you should feel bad. Um, I'll I'll give a recap of the song. We'll we'll listen to it in in a couple of minutes. But uh, it's an interesting thing because. And initially it was kind of just like just an idea like it was just just riffs and I got to the point of trying to do a solo and the solo started sounding kind of like typical typical chimp spanner stuff you know it was a bit like oh I'm all I'm all jazzy look at me uh, but it like it wasn't fitting and it wasn't until I got in touch with a guy to do some artwork for it that like a, a bit of a story sort of started poking out of the song um, and it started making me think of uh, Annihilation, which I'm assuming most of you have seen. In that there's this kind of idea that it keeps kind of coming back, but it's a little bit like mutated each time. And it kind of sounds almost like something is like corrupting or like infecting or something. So that's kind of going to be the, the direction for the, the artwork. Um, it's a guy called, I don't actually know his real name, but his, his name in, in the server is Type A. And if, if you've hung around in the music and art channel at all, um, you will have seen him post some of his stuff. It's like really cool, like surreal um, CGI type looking stuff. It's really, really cool. So I'm looking forward to getting that. And it might even be one of those things where like the artwork kind of has a bit of an influence on, on the music still, because it's not 100% done, obviously. Um, don't even have a name for it yet, which is kind of strange. Um, yeah, at the moment it's just called Streamy Boy. Um, ooh, that was weird. Everything just glitched out. I'm still here, right? Excellent. Okay, yeah, as I say, well, so I um, I've recently just hooked up a new interface. Um, up until... Oh, hey, Hunza, how you doing? Um, yeah, up until a little while ago, I was still using the first gen uh, Complete Audio 6 from um, Native Instruments, so that's got to be pushing about 10 years old now. And my issue was that I always had more things to plug in than I actually had sockets. Effectively only two, or two on the front and, and two on the back, because music's very intense. Um, 
So I picked up uh, an 18i20, the, the Focusrite, um, and I can finally have everything plugged in at the same time. My pod syncs to it digitally, which is nice because it wasn't doing that before. Um, and I can plug like all my synths in and everything, but I'm still kind of just getting used to like the new setup and how it works and all of its potential glitches and weirdness and stuff. Um, the funny thing is, so I plugged it in and I haven't really bothered doing any kind of cable management yet. So everything is just, it's just plugged in however at the moment. Um, if you were to see the sort of back and the sides of the desk, it's just, it's a nightmare. And I, I had to move the sound card out to plug something in or take something out. And because I was really lazy and everything was really messy, I just thought, oh, I'll leave it plugged in and I'll pull it. And as I pulled it out, the socket that the mains plug was in just came out with it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was still on and I'm just like because I really like I tugged it I pulled on it like dude I've had this for like an hour this is my first hour using this brand new sound card I was really like stoked about it and I just ripped the, the the power socket out but it appears to be fine so well we'll find out how fine it is throughout the course of the evening uh yeah I'm good Honza uh just um in my first day back at work today after a, a, a week off so I figured I'd I'd cure the Monday blues with a, a bit of music with with all of you lot. Um, so for the benefit of anyone that wasn't here um, last time, what we'll do is we'll take the song for a. Yeah, you can actually. You know what, Queen? If you want to do that, just just have at it. I'll just I'll leave you up here for a bit. Bring up a cup of tea, and you can uh, just sort all my problems out. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll take a listen through to the song. It's it's changed a little bit since uh, the last stream, um, particularly the ending. Um, love the mini Christmas tree. Yeah, that was <laughs> Katie put it there. It's very cute. She's got a way cuter tree in her in her studio though, um, and hopefully she'll she'll be streaming sometime soon. She's got a, a new computer coming any day now. Apparently, um, yeah, her her studio is a lot more like neon and pink and very cool colors so we'll take a listen to the song as it stands uh as i say if anything's too quiet anything sounds bad weird whatever you guys just let me know in the chat
It's uh, GGD drums, Eric. That noise isn't supposed to be there. So that is where I've got up to at the moment. Um, so I'm, there's not really a particular order that I'm going to work on things in this. There's just like a, a list of things that I kind of want to get done uh, and get sorted. So the first thing that I wanted to fix is that the the drums in this section. Ooh. Uh, it's just like constant symbols where I kind of want some accents and stuff. Um, so go in and sort that out. So at the moment it's kind of doing like a right hand crash and then a, a left hand just on the start of every eighth bar. Um, so I think what we'll do is put the sort of accents on those little, uh, little digam. So every time that happens, there'll be a crash on the left hand. Another one. And maybe kind of switch some of this up a bit with like chinas and, and crashes and stuff as well. I just noticed as well the um it's like a ton of bass in that um in that rack tom. Like I, I can actually hear it through the sub. That's kind of weird. So we'll just get rid of that while I'm here. Ah, no, I don't want it on all of the toms. I just want it on... Oh, that's annoying. I'll have to sort it out uh, afterwards because I haven't... What I've done is I've just put the toms coming out through like one stereo output. Um, I'll do like a proper multi-split at some point, but yeah, this isn't this isn't the time. Unless maybe uh, GGD lets you do that in the mixer, possibly. Uh, let's have a look. <clears throat> toms, 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 toms. Uh, there's a pitch control. There's an ADSR, but no filter. Okay, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to properly split these out. Um, so yeah, just just ignore the horrendous amounts of sub on the tiniest racked on. I don't think there's another one there. Maybe that's too much. Like, yeah, we'll leave it out uh, at bar six. I also feel like maybe that um, these two symbols, uh, if I can find them, a bit too similar. So let me see if I can swap.
it definitely needs another one there. Also, the drum fill that happens at the end of this bit um, is a bit too over the top, so I'm going to change that as well. Oh, wait. No, it's fine there. It's, it's somewhere else. Maybe it's this bit. Ah, uh, yeah. That was bugging me as well. It's, it doesn't need quads. I'm very lazy with quads. I just stick quads and everything. Uh, hi, write me what you think about my sound. Maybe on a private message, please. Uh, yeah, rough guitar. If you want to hop in the Discord, um, I don't know if I have like a, a self-promotion channel. Oh, I do. I do have a self-promo channel. Uh, so if you go to the About page on my uh, Twitch channel, and there's a, a should be a permanent invite link there to, to join the Discord. If you post what you're working on in there, I'm, I'd be happy to listen to it. That'd be fine. Uh, what max velocity do you set your bass and snare? Um, I mean, I think some of these, or <laughs> quite a lot of these are happening at or near 127, uh, which I realize probably isn't that realistic. Um, but I am going for sound over realism in this instance. Uh, I just realized the camera that I usually use for the, the side, the keyboard, uh, actually isn't on at the moment. Uh, so you'll just have to imagine that you can see me playing keys. So we'll keep those leading kicks. Yeah, that sounds good. And I messed it up. Wow. My hands are cold. That's my excuse. Has I actually been freezing? Wait. So that should sound a bit more natural coming into... F. I actually think it does need... Uh, there was an accent that I left out there, but it does need it. What I could really do with it is like a little... Um, chine or something on the left, which there is. Um... See what keys have I got free? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll use the closed hat on the right because I'm I'm not using it for anything. So Oh no worries, Queen. Get some get some sleep. And uh, we'll catch you next time. mappings so we want the oh wait it's already mapped to let's see it says it's already mapped to e2 ah, i see so what i thought i was using as the right hand china has actually been the left that's a bit silly I know it doesn't really matter in the scheme of things, but it's it's that kind of like if you hear things happening in the wrong place in like the stereo field, it's it's a bit of a bit of a giveaway. Uh, so what we'll do in that case then is we'll make the the accents at the start of each group of eight can be the two crash symbols, and then uh, these can be chinas. <laughs> Or what might sound cooler is maybe alternate them. So we do crash China, crash China, crash China.
Yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. And then I need to let's see. I need to take this into the not the end riff. Let's see. Uh, yeah, main riff. There you go. Which I think is mostly the same. So what I'll do is just take this new one, get rid of the old one up to the point of the last fill, and then get rid of that lane. Let's see. Chuggy riff. Uh, we could also maybe, <clears throat> where it does those kind of double symbol stabs, uh, make it like the the ride uh, bow crash. So it should sound a bit. Yeah, it just it kind of uh, differentiates it between uh, that right hand crash. Uh, yeah, and then do the same in the main riff. Um, the other thing that was bugging me was that this fill ends on a double kick. Where I feel like it should be like a do good to get like a lighter on the top. So we'll do double snare and then that should go a bit more realistically into this thing. Uh, and then in this riff, because it turns out I was using the wrong China, so we'll take every China that's happening on the left and move it to the right. Ooh. That sounds heavier like it's bigger. So for this bit, um, I was kind of lazy. I literally just grabbed the start of this riff and then moved it and just muted everything that's going on there. So what we'll do here is make a, a new section just for this. And I want the phrasing to be a bit different as well. So it should end on the da 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 bum 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 like that kind of thing. Can you tell I'm not a singer? Background guitar is a good idea, a little quieter maybe. Yeah, at, at the moment, um, the the tone that's doing that kind of like lead motif thing uh, is is kind of temporary. So I'm going to double track that with a smoother sound and then kind of balance it a bit better. But yes, it is currently too loud and too harsh. So what we'll do here, we'll get rid of that and then and then we'll draw in a new section and just use one that we haven't used yet. So block nine. And we'll call it the bit before the end bit. Hey, Dan. How you doing, mate? I was going to say, I wonder where you got to, but I know exactly where you've been. I sounded really like... <laughs> it sounded really seedy and ominous. It's not seedy or ominous. Thank <laughs> you. 
On the Autobahn. Amazing. Say hi to John for me. And also apologize for me <laughs> mocking his wonderful German accent. Yeah, stream's going all right, mate. Uh, literally, I'm only half an hour in. Uh, it's the first one I've done the best part of a week, I think. So just kind of getting back into the flow of things. We are finishing off a, a song, a new song. Uh, I've got somebody working on some single artwork for it at the moment, which is really cool. Uh, and I've got a, a nice kind of narrative and idea and everything that's kind of shaping behind it. Still not sure on whether or not it's going to be a vocal track or not. Um, I don't know. I suspect I'll know by the end of tonight. So. <laughs> Ooh, I might I might lift a little bit of that um, Zenith Passage business, the, which actually I already did in that riff, if anybody noticed. Actually, no, I think it, it kind of works well to go the... Maybe that sounds better, actually. I don't know. We'll try it. Also, my, my guitars are coming out a lot hotter uh, at the moment. I was on TikTok. I do not recommend. <laughs> uh, I, I am a little bit partial to, to a bit of TikTok every now and again. Um, maybe that would work as a mono guitar, I don't know. Oh, wow. feeling it. Could just be because it's played badly, so I'll just <laughs> try and do it better. Ew! Don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Bum, bum, 
That would help if I was on the right track. What is happening? What's going on? Oh, okay. Idiot. So because I have a different input configuration now, what I'm actually doing is going into the pod and then just using a clean tone from that digitally back in, into the the amp sim. Now, the reason that I'm, I've got it set up that way is that there's quite a few effects on my HD that I actually really like, like the Octava and the Pitch Shifter model are actually not too bad um, compared to what I've got in, in software. Uh, and the noise gate is really good as well. And some of like the, the amp, uh, preamp models are actually pretty decent. So I kind of want to have this set up so that I can use just like the preamps maybe from the pod and then um, go into like an impulse response or something like that. Riffs. Ah, same again. It's going to get annoying. You only have to do it once, but still. Hmm, what's going on there? Ugh. Terrible. <laughs> Excellent. Hey there, Nicole. How you doing? Uh, pedal hat sounds lame. Oh, no way. That's awesome. So did you, I don't know, did you try the, the iPad thing at all? Or was, I guess it's not the same, really. Um, like ha having like actual physical controls is, is good. Did you get like a Black Friday thing on it at all? Like a, a deal or a discount? Not bad. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could do something cool to this, like, uh, I don't know, put a filter on it or something. Um, let's try a band pass. Wow. <laughs> uh, we'll try that. It could be a bit lame. Yeah, I'm supposed to be practicing as well. <laughs> I haven't practiced any guitar for like a week. Yeah, to be fair, Juno, I, I think you'll have a better experience with like real keys to press and, and real stuff to use. Um, it's, I mean, it's a little bit like I could just get iPad synths that do all the stuff that my real synths do, but it's different just having stuff to, to touch. Notice how I avoided saying knobs to twiddle. Nah, don't like it. Don't like it. Maybe what would sound cool. I'm so I'm not that into like hyper editing. And if you look at my tone, uh, I actually do not have a gate on here. Maybe I should, but generally speaking, I, I, I don't like to gate very heavily. 
because I get all paranoid that I'm like, I'm cutting out bits that I want. Um, so I think maybe for this bit, let's try doing a bit of like surgical editing and see if that kind of gives it a bit more impact. Nah, don't like that either. I'll just leave it as it is. Sounds real, you know? Sounds sloppy. I'm sloppy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get, like, anal about it. So this also needs a proper ending as well. Um, let's see, how does this come out? Maybe, um, I mean, it doesn't have to fit into like a rigid timing, so we could do, uh, uh I know that I want it to end on that, so it's kind of bringing it back to that main... Um... So... Mm. We'll try it. So no, that sounds crap. Just the slide down. That's a bit rock and roll. But then that's awkward that See I overthink things. I think things too much. I think things too much. All it is, 2021. <laughs> I dink thoughts too much. Mm -hmm. 
I'll just try it. It's either going to sound good or it's going to sound bad. Did I, did I do it? Is that right? Uh. No. Bit sloppy. Um. Okay, I like that. That's good. Oof, my uh, drum hand. Uh, it's a bit, it's kind of blocky, like. Let's try just mousing it in, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Imagine anyone tuning in, like, at that exact moment, just listening to me, like, drag toms up and down. Yes, mate, content. And then for that bit, I'll kind of hint at the, the riff that... That is such a uh, like destroy, erase, improve era feel. I'm not even hiding it, I don't care.
Oh, it's a bit of a stretch for a non-bassist. And then because I don't have this sixth string under that, I'll have to do unison, so like... Actually, it makes more sense um, up there than than down low. So maybe I'll try doing that on on the guitar as well. Nah. I expect that you're used to hearing that with uh, Will quite a lot, Juno. Just endless clacking and swearing. That's so sloppy. I will fix that. So, it's, well, it sounds a little bit tacked on at the moment, and I think, um, it might just be to do with the drums. <laughs> So this, I think, needs more of a fill leading into that. So, oh, wow. Thank you very much for the raid, guys. Uh, that is a lot of people to watch me <laughs> mess up. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to take the heat off myself a little bit. Let's recap. Let's listen to what I've already done. Uh, for anyone that's joining, uh, which is, do, do you have a shout out? Come on, Paul. I don't. I actually don't. Um, I don't even know what that is, but we can go through that. Uh, so for anyone that's joining, which is a whole bunch of you and following, uh, we've been working on a brand new Chimps Banner song. Yes, they they still happen. They still exist. Um, just kind of at the point now of just going through and tidying up some bits that, that I... Bass, what are you doing, man? You've gone you've gone mad. No, this, this is a different one, uh, Nikki. Uh, completely separate. Um... Yeah, I'll just I'll play it through for for the new people, uh, and then we'll we'll kind of crack on. It's it's a song kind of about um, if you guys have seen uh, Annihilation, it's got this kind of theme of like assimilation and cloning and distortion and, and all of that stuff going on. So I'll try not to talk through the whole song. Also, this is disgusting. Don't buy this. It's horrible. Oh, dude, I had my master volume turned down the whole time.
Uh, almost. I, I haven't quite gotten used to uh, playing it live yet because <laughs> I've just been writing it on stream with, with all of you lot. Javier, how you doing, man? Nice to have lots of uh, first-time chatters. So, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, popping in. Um, so where we are at the moment is that I need to kind of make this section flow into the, the end a little bit better. Well, there's like a whole list of things that, that I want to get done on this. And as I said earlier, there's there's not really any particular order to it, just kind of fixing things as I hear them. Nice Christmas tree, by the way. Yes, it's very cute. But uh, as I said earlier, Katie's is, is way cuter. It's pink and it's glittery and it's very nice. <laughs> So I think it's it's the fact that it just kind of switches gear really suddenly. So what we'll do is have a little double kick leading into that. And then, uh, let's see. In fact, I could just play it in, that'd be quicker. Yeah, that sounds good. This is the one time that quads is acceptable. I think stream audio is clipping, by the way. Uh, let's see. Now, what can I do about that? Mm, maybe that's why I had it turned down. Uh, is that any better? See, so because I've I've just got this oh, much better. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll let me turn my voice down. Uh, oh, gone now. We'll just keep it up there. If if it sounds clippy, if it sounds weird, anything sounds bad, just just let me know, and I'll try and fix it. Then what we'll do for this bit. Is just keep that note going off. Uh, and then kind of just bend into it a bit more. So again I have to switch inputs. sounds kind of glued on um uh, let's see what i might do is what i did earlier on in the song so i've got uh, an automation track here that kind of blends between dry and uh, a reverb that's on like 60 seconds decay time or something so if i kind of just blend into that as the passage comes. Uh... Wow.
maybe the reverb isn't the right effect to use for that. So there's um, there's a, a delay in this that has something called a, a roll mode, and it's kind of like an infinite infinite repeat, and you can automate the feed into it. So uh, this is a middle build melody, middle build melody. So let's chuck an echo at the end of the chain. We'll set the mode to roll. The time, let's see, maybe half notes. And then I can automate in the amount of that. I, I kind of want it to sound like it's stuck, like almost like a buffer effect, not a delay. Uh, so let's try that. That's it. How's the uh, stream audio now, by the way? No clipping? Oh, thank you very much, mate. And then there's also this layer. Don't really know what to do with it because it's just doing this kind of like. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna be really, really lazy. And copy it. And we'll just do something weird with it. Because so because it's all dry guitar tone, I I can do some stuff to the, the dry guitar and probably make it sound a bit interesting. Uh, so it's on the dissonant guitar layer. Um, let's try frequency shifter. Maybe that would sound good. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I don't know. I'll try it. Let's see, see how it sounds. Uh, so that is frequency shift wide. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so that bit actually sounds okay if it just almost does like a dive ball, like. As it kicks into that main phrase. There we go. That sounds cool. I might even um, bring that bit up just a little bit because I like it. And it's it's getting a bit lost at the minute. Noise. Also, what we'll do is we'll just set the end point of that a little bit further up because it, it goes so low that it sounds like it disappears uh, before the, the audio ends. Sick. Okay, that's the ending. I'm happy with the ending. The ending's good. Uh, so what else do we need to do? Um... 
I mean, there needs to be a, a lead part over this kind of middle, uh, not middle bit, the, the opening riff. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, now, there was something that I wanted to do in, in this kind of ambient build. I don't know why it's So that, I think, comes in, this bit comes in too early. Uh, it would be cool to have like maybe an just another beat of that. Um, for anyone that's, that's wondering, by the way, uh, I'm working in Reason. And as I kind of go into these block sections, what it is, is it's like a, an arranger within the arrangement. So each of these blocks, if you double click it, has its own arranged view and whatever you do in here is then what get gets used uh, out here. Uh, the cool thing about that, uh, obviously from like an arrangement uh, and sort of structuring point of view is you can just kind of grab a whole section and say, yeah, I want that going into the main riff, but I only want half of the main riff. And then I want to go into like, you know, the intro or I want to go into a different part. You like, you can offset the blocks and stuff. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm kind of going in and out of like the two arrangers, that's that's why. That's what's going on. Wait, like seriously, where is that? And that's where it should come in. So let's see. If I have the, the reverb from that synth can trail on for longer. Where is that noise coming from? Seriously. Yeah, like... It's not even... Maybe it's right at the start. Huh. Okay, there you go. that off the grid and I don't know why I would have done that there we go just all weird things that happen in in the edit so let's uh, I want to kind of grab it from the, the beginning of a phrase that do 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 and then we'll just loop that and I want to keep all of this going and just see how that sounds uh, this effect by the way is really cool it's like a granularizing um chorus so it's kind of creating copies of the sound and then jittering the the start positions and, and detuning them and stuff keep the that kind of breathing voice thing going uh, let's see how that sounds will this be in the next Doom soundtrack yeah I wish <laughs> no that's corrupted that's, that's already like full on Doom worship no apologies So that needs to kind of filter out. So 
We'll just draw in a little filter automation. <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, let's start a pressure campaign. Aren't Bethesda kind of trash now for that thing? Oh no, that was Blizzard Activision. It's fine, Bethesda will call. Dude, why? That little rip. It's something to do with these effects, I think. But when I solo it, it's not... Dude. You know what, I'm just going to ignore it for now. There's like a little choir uh, fade in uh, here. I'll see how that works in that middle bit as well. In the middle spoop. Okay, now it's doing my shit. I don't know what, I almost feel like it could, that end bit could do with another bar. So like, we'll listen through to it going into the main riff, but I don't know. I'm thinking it needs another bar. Don't know what you guys think. So, uh, got to extend it out again, and then make that literally just one. It's kind of weird that it's like it's a a half bar longer that it needs, but uh, but that also means we can stretch that choir fade out a bit more so that's cool uh, and the same for these bits as well let's see the bass has already faded out by that point so that's fine I just realized I haven't EQ'd my um, rhythm guitars. That's all. How was your annual leave in the end, by the way? Yeah, it was It was good. Really good. Um, as I was saying last stream, I, I kind of, and well, and to you the other week, uh, I sort of realised that the only time that I'd had off for like a whole year was just to move house. So like I took two weeks off, but it was two weeks of just the most stressful stuff I think I've ever done in my life. Um, and then I, it, like about two or three weeks ago, I was just like, man, why am I just angry? Like I'm really snappy and like pent up and everything it's like oh 
didn't actually chill like at all for the whole year. Weekends don't really count because you know weekends are going to end. You know what I mean? So it's just like, uh, I don't know. But I had a really nice time. Yeah, we um, we went to Nottingham, saw the Christmas market, uh, had some nice walks, had a snow walk. Just did a lot of a lot of things that I'd been meaning to do over the course of the last year, and you just like you realize why you need the odd day off here and there because it takes loads of time to do things, to to live, to be an adult. This is sounding so good. Cool. Thank you, man. Uh, it's We're getting there. Definitely getting there. Uh, right. So what's the next thing? I mean, I still feel like maybe that there could be a bit more of a build coming out of that. Like maybe some kind of, not a riser effect, but something. Oh, I know what it needs. Uh, I'm going to take, so at the beginning, I have this... Uh, like a subtail sound. Uh, I don't know if you guys have, have listened to the Hyperlight Drifter soundtrack at all. Um, it's literally, if you haven't heard it, it's one of my favourite game soundtracks of all time by an artist called Disasterpiece. And I actually originally started writing this not long after playing that game because it had this really sort of sinister vibe to it. Um, and they have these moments where they kind of strike these really like beautiful eerie chords and there's this kind of big rumble sound underneath underneath it and that's kind of what's going on in in this section um if, in fact i have like three or four songs all from around that period where it was just like pure disaster piece worship Why? Where's it coming from? No worries, Stem. Thanks for uh, joining us and hope to see you in the next stream, mate. Ooh. That filter needs to last. I don't know where that weird guitar burp is coming from, but it's whatever. Uh, let's see. So the next thing that I want to do is... I think in this main section, there's just one uh, layer of lead guitar there, and it sounds a little bit uh, lonely. Man, this track and the one you've been working on with Dan are disgusting in the best way possible. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's the last... Uh, with the exception, I guess, of like Aurora, which was, it was already done, like, more or less. Uh, and that was kind of, I guess that was around like, all roads lead here sort of time. But the the other newer tracks like Corrupter and Tombstone City, this one, the song with Dan, um, they're all quite a departure from that sort of like, spacey, jazzy, happy stuff. Um, I don't know, it's just, just what I feel like doing at the moment. Heavy music is fun. wasn't recording. It's funny actually. The uh, the other day, I was saying, "Oh, I wish there was a way to duplicate the track and its effects, but not the stuff on it." Because I'm using these blocks, 
if I was to do that, then anywhere else that this track is used, I would end up with like two lots of the audio. It turns out it's already there. You just literally hit numpad three. And, uh, and it doesn't work. <laughs> there you go, numpad three. It was there the whole time. Very useful. them and then just bring it down a bit in the mix. I think well, let's see where else does that um wibbly wobbly guitar happen uh yeah i think oh it's literally just in that bit so i'll just turn that uh channel down a bit because it's a bit overpowering So like I still want the effect of the chorusing in there, uh, and I could probably because there's like unaffected guitar playing it now, I could probably dial up that um, chorus effect a bit, the wibble and the wobble. It's a bit harsh as well uh, in the top end, so... Apologies in advance to headphone users. Oh man, that frequency, that pissed me off. save uh, and also I need to reinforce the, the melody after that as well Just check how that sounds coming out of uh, this section. So 
I was thinking of something dark. sounding cool uh, now what am I going to do with this beginning bit because right so originally uh, I'll try and show you what I had it just it didn't fit like the mood of the song or anything and it just it wasn't happening Uh, this is going to be very bad, by the way, because I, I never actually finished it. Was that little? That was the one bit that was missing. I didn't know how to get out of. Um... Oh, I'd like to go into that. Okay, yeah, all right, I changed my mind about the lead. I was gonna try and do something all like ambient and floaty and stuff. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> idiot. I don't know the rhythm to do on the... into the, the main riff. Uh, what I'll do, I'm going to make another track and then I can kind of just ping pong the takes between that and hear what I've already done without having to turn uh, monitoring off. There's a lot of um, low end coming from that, so let me roll that off.
tune. I don't think I'm in tune. Yeah, my guitar is not technically set up for um, drop E tuning. I think I'm only using like a 68 on this, so I have to tune it quite flat to get it to, to be in tune. Um, but when I try to get a thicker string on it, uh, the machine head is only drilled for like up to a 68, I think. So I need to take this to somebody that knows what they're doing at some point and just, just get it filed a bit thicker. Because um, I do find the F sharp on this is just a tiny bit floppy. Uh, at least it is at 68. It needs to be like a 70 or, or a 72, maybe. Oh, <laughs> red light syndrome, man. The, the kicks tabs, maybe. bars at a time.
Oh, thank you for the follow, Synthal. In fact, I've missed a whole bunch of follows. So thank you for everyone that's uh, that's followed. In anyone that's just tuned in, I don't know if, if most of you have been here for the, the duration, but we're just working on a new Chimp Spanner song um, that I actually started recording uh, on the, the last stream. And I've kind of been uh, just slogging through in, in front of you all. Um, so at the moment, I'm just kind of stuck on this stupid lead part. I can't decide on the best phrasing for it yet. That would sound cool to do like a little... Uh... sound what if I was to play it right does it sound good <laughs> I don't know anymore Get to that crazy that crazy part of the night. Oh, thank you, Juno. It's very encouraging. Most of it, I think. Okay, 
that's fine. The the little dig a dig a dig a dig. I can drop in. Lawless. If anyone asks, uh, like later on, like if they come in, just just tell them I did it all in one hit, like literally just one take off the bat, fully improvised. Got it. See, look, now it's joined up. Joined up. See? One part. That means one take. My stream. My rules. <laughs> yeah, see, Juno gets it. Now I want to double track it, but now I know how it goes, it should be easier. Oh yeah, there's a whole bit, there's a whole bit after this. Um... Uh, let me double, uh, double track this first and then do the other bit. No, in fact, you know what? We'll just do the other bit. I've made you listen to this bit like for literally like an hour. Uh, music is so much fun. Really is. If that whole so I'm kind of leaning into that phrasing a lot like that da, 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 da. Um, I don't know maybe when I've done it all and listened through to it I'll kind of reevaluate but maybe that's that's just the character of it that it, it kind of locks in but I like that it kind of borrows a little bit of the um... wait no it doesn't oh, I thought it did something it doesn't maybe I was just hearing it
in halves, so we'll kind of get up to this point. Really want to get that kind of that double note bleed thing. My hands, my hands are freezing. <laughs> still, still cold. That's what it is. There was literally one bad note in there. I'm just gonna fix it. Oh, of course it didn't pick it up. Let's keep that in reserve. I think I can do it better. <laughs> or not. Most of that was okay. Uh, I think the end of that one was better, so... There's, also, there's a whole bunch of like low-end stuff. Um, Maybe if I... Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm using Pod Farm, believe it or not. Uh, hmm. Maybe just chuck an EQ in front of it and then just do that. See what that does. So, and because I use this on a few channels, I'll have to copy patch and then paste, 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 paste patch. There you go. All right, let's see. Maybe tapping now. Uh, I tap too much. I tap because I can't play guitar. I say it often, but it's not a joke. I need to get out of that habit. Apart from the fact that I butchered it, I think it sounds okay. Uh, so I literally just need to drop in a single note of... Also, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what your opinions are on this it's is it kind of weird to just go straight 
into a solo from an intro. Oh, thank you, Bass. I'm feeling, feeling very self-conscious. I never track lead guitar parts in front of anyone because, because of that. <laughs> because it's just what happened. I think it's because I'm not an improviser, so I do tend to do things like just little blocks at a time, getting a little bit obsessed about, you know, does this flow into that, whatever. But I don't know. sick of it already do you know <laughs> well when when it's done uh, which potentially will be pretty soon it'll go on Bandcamp first um, I'm as I said I'm currently uh, awaiting some uh, artwork from Taipei who uh, hangs out in uh, my discord and also Katie's slash static angels um, does really really cool like CGI like abstract futuristic -y stuff so I've kind of given the brief brief for like what the song is about and what it feels like it's about and everything oh no dude you don't have to don't purchase don't give any money nobody give money it's fine um but yeah it'll be out on on Bandcamp and then um spotify i think it takes like three to five days at the moment so uh oh yeah i need to move that Onto that. Oh, lovely! Thank you for the uh, for the tier one sub, Annex. Much appreciated, man. Come in. Come in. So. This bit sounds a little bit thin coming out of the... Maybe just like a third layer of rhythm guitar, because obviously in this bit there's what... Well, yeah, there's only three, three layers going on, but I think when that lead drops, it just feels like there's a bit of a drop in intensity. So if I... Just triple track that rhythm up, it might sound good. I was also thinking about maybe uh, program in like a layer of synth doing this riff when it comes back uh, later on. Maybe that would sound cool. Or like just for the end bit, maybe that would sound cool. <laughs> It's 
just got to like practice it a bit. Like, I know I could just drop in, but, like, it feels like more effort to me. I don't know. You see, most of that was okay. Sorry, sorry everyone. Also, these aren't <clears throat> these aren't EQ'd yet. Um... That's something that I've, I've kind of gotten into the habit of doing uh, lately is trying not to EQ um, soloed too much. And I, I've watched a few videos on it and they, it was just kind of saying like, it makes sense really like if you listen to something out of context of the rest of the song, you're going to start kind of carving away at things that actually need to be there to kind of balance against other instruments. Um, I mean, that being said, I haven't really given this a, a proper mix just yet. This is kind of like my sort of demo template mix. Um, but it is what I uh, the same mix that I used for Corrupter. So maybe once it's got a, a master on it as well, it will sound a little bit more uh, a little bit more punchy and less like mid rangey. <laughs> Good.
Right, let's have a listen from the beginning. And then what I might do, well, I'm going to listen through it. I'll make a note of anything that kind of really stands out as, as needing kind of work like right now. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe move on to a different song. Um, I don't know, we'll see. See what I feel like after, after I've listened to it. But also interested to, to see what, you know, what you all reckon of it. Anything that's kind of sounding like it goes on for too long. Anything, you know, feels a bit weird. It's like writing by committee. I'm actually really happy with that. That's it's come out good. Um, I don't know. How was that sounding 
from a sort of outsider perspective, like... Nice one, thank you, Daniel. I am only joking, by the way. I, will. <laughs> I am, well, I'm joking in that I'm not going to die in five years, and also joking in that I will learn Cloud City one of these days. Chonky, yeah, chonk, maximum chonk. Um, I don't really think there's a whole bunch else that I can do to it uh, just at the moment. Um, it's probably only, I don't know, a couple of hours away from, from being done. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Let me see if maybe there's something else I can, I can have a, have a little look at tonight. Bearing in mind, well, it's coming up midnight and it is a, it is a school night, so I've got to be good. A lot of ideas kicking around in here. State of some contact instances cannot be recalled correctly. Please open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what that is. I know what that is. And I have saved as well. So we're all good. Um, for now, I'm going to close this. Really happy with how that's, that's come out though. Um, to be honest, um, I was supposed to go on last night and I thought, okay, I'm going to finish this song off. I'm going to work on some lead stuff. And... I kind of thought about it and tried to to work something out for like two, three hours. And I just got really nervous at the thought of like actually <laughs> doing solo stuff in front of people. And then I just didn't do it. I went to bed. Um, but yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So that's good. Oh, no worries, Juno. Um, I, I probably should do the same soon. And I, I may do the same soon, but uh, it's lovely to have you with us as always. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch up tomorrow. No doubt. Oh, wait, I need to fix these uh, contacts. Uh, what are you looking for? The Avalanche base browser folder. This I kind of wish that contact would store, like when you define where all of your libraries are. To be fair, I think it happens with things that aren't in Access because it doesn't ask me to do this for like, you know, Abbey Road or Orchestral or whatever. Uh, I think it is just these kind of non-player uh libraries oh excellent show me what you uh worked on tomorrow i'd love to see it and uh yeah have a good sleep night night Now, is that just not going to appear or? I'll tell you what I was actually thinking of doing. Um, it was originally the plan for last night was I was going to kind of do like a little, uh, just like a little hardware synth jam. Um, Cause I actually have my uh, phone set up above where I uh, keep all of my synths and stuff. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that for a bit before I, uh, before I hit the hay. I don't know if I can deal with any more, uh, any more metal. But I like the title of this song. What are you even doing? So let's see what what was I doing.
Maybe this is like a, a, a track of vocals. on it tonight. It sounds cool though. Ugh. Nah, not feeling that tonight. Ah. I'll tell you what, is, I don't know if any of you in here are also streamers or know anything about cameras. But um, so I'm just using like a, a Brio 4K, uh, 4K, and it, it seems to have gotten worse. You know what I mean? Like it's really grainy. It's kind of flickery. Um, I don't remember it being like that, but I am kind of thinking that I should I should get like a proper camera. So I don't know if any of you in here are knowledgeable on um, cheap, good. Uh, I think the biggest thing you do is have good lighting and stuff. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not in the, the, the best lit environment. In fact, all I've got, there's one like desk lamp over there that's kind of facing at the wall and, and then the wall is bouncing back at me. Uh, softbox lighting on either side of me. Yeah, I did have some. I had a whole bunch uh, and then I, I sold them because at the time I was doing uh, one ring light in the back can help. I do have a ring light as well. Um, but I've got nowhere to put it. I'll try it for next time. I'll try that next time. Oh, pardon me. That was gross. So just thinking about it, uh, what have we done? So there's... Uh, go away. Uh, so we've done this song, which doesn't have a name yet. Uh, the song uh, for Dan's vocals is is done. The big idea, uh, which we kind of worked on a little bit a few couple of weeks ago, I think that's pretty much done. Uh, so that's like three three songs in the the space of like a month, which is good. That's good going for me. Mister One Song Every Ten Years. I use Logi Logitech as my second cam. It's pretty decent. Other one I use is a Sony AS. A7S2. So is that all you have on, on your setup, Nicole? Is just you just use one uh one ring light. <laughs> that is that. <laughs> do you mean where do I get my hooded sweat shirt as in singular? Because yes, it is the one that I wear a little bit too often. Mate, I need to I need to go clothes shopping. I've had this conversation with Katie like loads of times that like go, oh man, I don't even know. I I, <laughs> I, I thought that was a, a subtle nod to the fact that I have probably worn this hoodie on every single stream that I've that I've done. Um but thank you. It, it is it's okay. <laughs> man, guys have like the short end of the straw when it comes to fashion, like we can literally, we can wear hoodies and jeans. That's about it. Well, we can wear other things. I could wear other things. I should. Basically, just want to walk around in a Star Trek uniform all the time. Um, I do have a, a ring light. Um, oh. 
well actually i have a couple of things i have this thing which is a um what is it a loom loom cube which is incredibly bright okay oh uh, actually you know what that does make a lot of difference but it has to be far away and like indirect maybe my oh, mate that is so bright but like if i just kind of rest it up there does that has that kind of made it a lot sharper apart from the fact that it's like right in my eyes I mean, that is literally just propped on top of a speaker at the moment. It's not like mounted properly anywhere. But does it does it look sharper? Definitely less grainy. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll start doing that then. <laughs> Glare on the glasses. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I've got this and I, and I, ow, I do also have a, um, a ring light. It's just, just a cheapy one. I think it was like 40 quid or something. Uh, so I'll try that for, for next time, I think. Uh, do you make any videos for your music? No, I've actually never had uh, a music video for a chimp's song. Um, <laughs> quid, yeah. Uh, I was trying something out uh, last time. I don't know if it's going to work, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, nah, it's all different now. Uh, so I, I was using this thing called Magic Visuals. If you check out the, um, on my YouTube channel, uh, the November 24th stream, I was using this kind of, uh, music to visuals plugin or, uh, application. And that looked pretty good, but that's literally just like, almost like Winamp sort of thing. I've, I've never had like a proper music video. Um, can I? Dude, you are... More than welcome to to cut some visuals to to any of my music if you want. Upload it. Do what you want with it. I'm not I'm not fussy. It's all good. Forty quid. That's discount plugin. Yes, it is. Do you know what? I ha I didn't buy a single thing on uh, on Black Friday. Not one. There was just nothing I needed. I mean, I've I've got. There's things in like uh complete like complete uh 13 that i still haven't used yet and it's at that point where it's like if i'm not writing songs it's not because i don't have enough stuff um it's it's something else it's like a mindset thing or or it's whatever uh i don't know i mean did any of you get anything particularly good anything interesting or Oh, uh, yes, rough guitar. I, I, what I meant is if if you feel like doing uh, video to anything, just, just go straight ahead, do it, upload it. I'd, I'd love to see what you do. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, I don't know. There was just, there was just nothing that I, uh, nothing that I felt like picking up. Not this time anyway. I think this should be the next one to, to finish off after the, the song we've worked on.
the issue that I had with it, uh, aside from the fact that this bit is based, it's just exactly the same as the bit before it, but an octave down. So I don't like that. Uh, I didn't know how to get. Oh, uh, the bass is almost certainly Avalanche from. They used to be called Impact Studios, but uh, it's Odeholm Buster. Um, really really cool i think it goes yeah it goes down to like a c zero which is just silly really silly but my bass doesn't go any lower than uh than b so um i use sample bass when you know when i need to get down there um yeah they're, they're still going meatbag uh they've just rebranded as as odhom and they've done i think the nuclear bass and possibly one other one uh, and then they have like a bunch of drum overlay stuff as well which is pretty cool um, but yeah, so the issue I had was was that I couldn't get from that to maybe they're different songs. I don't know. Last one, thank you. Yeah, if if I can figure out, obviously this, that's uh, MIDI guitar at the moment, um, which again, just to kind of show you guys, uh, I use this thing from Music Lab, um, and I got it at a time. So over the, the last sort of year uh, before I moved into this place, um, didn't really have like a proper studio set up and. <laughs> Funny enough, even though I'm doing like streaming and stuff now, uh, I was just completely like, I just couldn't play knowing that other people could hear me. And when I say other people, I mean my mum and dad and my mum and dad are musicians. And like, they're not at all judgmental about anything that I do. Like they love what I do. I know it was stupid, really stupid. But just as soon as I heard somebody like that, I knew somebody was there like in the kitchen or something like just, just couldn't do it. So I thought, right, I need to be able to do guitar just work out what I'm going to do when I've eventually got the space to do it. And uh, I got this thing, uh, Real 8 from Music Lab, and they do a bunch of other ones as well. Um, Does your butt not hurt from sitting on cold all these years? Oh man, I don't know about that. Uh, we've There's actually a folder. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, if if I can't play it, I'll have to change it. But um, it's it's a really cool plugin for just kind of like prototyping ideas. You know, if, if you kind of want to work out what speed and what pitch you think you, you want it to be in before you actually commit to recording guitars and stuff, really, really cool uh, tool. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend it. Um, but as I say, yeah, I just need to figure out how to join these two bits. And I, I don't think... Yeah, I mean, they're not, all these bits are kind of very disconnected. Um, so it might be that I need to work out something after this bit to kind of bring it back to the, the themes and, and the motifs in the beginning. Yeah, definitely. And uh, what song was it now? There was a, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a song where I wrote the, the, the guitar parts in MIDI first. 
and because I wasn't thinking, oh, like I can't play that, I just wrote it, and then I had to figure out how to how to play it afterwards. So it can actually be a, a really good tool as well for sort of pushing yourself um, out of your comfort zone because you're not writing just based on what you can like comfortably play, which is pretty cool. Uh, Guitar Pro. Yeah, I did try Guitar Pro a long, long time ago, but I I don't, I can't read like notation or anything. So I found the whole thing of dealing with like ties and rests and all of that stuff. Like, nah, wasn't happening. Like literally, what are you doing? So I realize at this point, we're kind of just going through, uh, through all the ideas now, but I don't know, it's fun. Do you remember Cakewalk? Very, very vaguely. It's free now, right? Like completely free? Oh, no, 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 no. Missing, missing uh, files, not dealing with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it was, uh, oh, yeah, Sonar. Cakewalk, no. Am I getting my, my doors mixed up? Uh, is Cakewalk and Sonar the same thing, or are they different things? Yeah, I don't know. Something like that. Oh, mate, I'll tell you what is funny. Um, my dad <clears throat> sent me some really old stuff of mine from like way back in the day, like bef some of it's before I actually played guitar. Uh, and it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> I might save that for another night, actually. Um, in fact, you know what? I'll tell you what, I think because we've been going for about, well, Clarity and Chaos. Oh, uh, is that in here? Alternate ending and extra solo. Okay. Oh no, that is just the ending. Wow. Oh man. Yeah, do you I don't suppose by any chance like you have that here. Cuz I lost all of that stuff. Oh mate. So this is an interesting thing. When I when I very first started playing guitar, like I was proper into like new metal stuff. And a lot of my um finger drumming I learned doing uh covers. Uh, I think this is off cassette. Yeah, the mix on this, by the way, is dog turn because I didn't know how to mix. <laughs> yes. Hey, what what is mixing and mastering? Yeah. Oh, dude. I think that is like a Korg AX 1000G. If anyone rem remembers that. It was like my first ever guitar processor and it was terrible. So bad. Yeah, man, I was I was used to that man. Still am. <laughs> oh, I didn't know how to do pinch harmonics. This 
So this is from a time when like there weren't really drum libraries. Well, there were drum libraries, but you had to like put the samples together yourself. So sloppy, man. Oh man, this is a riff though. This is a really good riff. Not this version, but... <laughs> yeah, nailed the crappy shit you know. Not so much. You. <laughs> what is the deal with doing like covers on uh, on Twitch? I mean, I know people do them, but like. Because I'd love to do like some old, um, like new metal era covers of songs that I probably would listen to when I was younger. Wow. Man, I remember that like it was yesterday, you know. I think I must have been like, I don't know, 16, 17, something like that. Whenever that album came out. I mean, I'm 37. Yeah, 37 now. Wow. But um, yeah, I think what I'll probably do, I mean, I was going to kind of do a bit of a synthy jam, like electronic stuff, whatever. But I think if I get going on that now, it's going to take me through to sort of like one, two o'clock and I do have to be working tomorrow. Uh, so I should, I should be good. But I'm really happy with how that song uh, turned out and the solo part and everything. And what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll do the last sort of finishing touches on that offline um, and then sort of get that out on, on Bandcamp as, you know, as soon as I can really, as soon as it has a name. Um, but yeah, it was really fun sort of, you know, going out of my comfort zone a little bit in you know in as much as doing the uh doing the solo work stuff because that was absolutely terrifying but uh yeah i think i will call it a night for now um i still don't have a schedule yet um i'm thinking of maybe doing like a couple of regular days a week um maybe like mondays and wednesdays mondays and thursdays something like that uh plus the you know the odd weekend if if i can fit it in um so I'll, yeah, I'll try and work on a, a schedule this week and then I've got something to, to stick to and I can sort of plan some some different things. Um, for anyone that is in here that hasn't been here since the start, hasn't been in here before, uh, if you go to the About page on my Twitch channel, in fact, I think I can just do this. Can I do this? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so if you just follow that link, you can join the Discord. Um, and I'm very receptive to anything that you know people want to see. Uh, I was initially thinking of doing more of like almost like an instructional thing, you know, that was kind of the intention at the beginning was, oh, you know, I'll show people how to do this, how to do that. Um, but I didn't want it to kind of be too like formal. Uh, but if there are any things that, you know, that you'd really like to know, um, things that you find yourself getting stuck on or things that don't make sense, whatever, uh, you know, just just drop it in the discord and, and I'll try and work it into a, a stream sometime. But um, yeah, I think we'll call it for now. I'm 
going to do the sensible thing and, and hit the hay. Um, and then I'll announce in the Discord when I have a, a schedule, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing sort of throughout the week. So thank you so much for everyone that has stuck with me tonight. Had a really good time uh, writing and recording with all of you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you all on the next stream. Uh, before I go, I'm going to do a raid because it's good etiquette to do a raid. Um, so let me just have a very quick look and we'll see who's uh, who's kicking about. Let's see. Uh, let's give Nicole a raid because she's on at the moment. I need to set up some commands, you know, to do this like quicker because um, her name is very long to type. <laughs> so it's raid. How do you spell it? Oh, someone help me. Nicole Papastavru. Nicole Papastavru. Nicole Papastavru. There you go. I think I did it right. Last one. All right. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will catch you next time.